Hello, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther, and today I am talking about what flowers I'm winter sowing for my front yard container garden. I am growing flowers for both my community garden, where I can grow annuals and really tall flowers. I may even grow some sunflowers there, but I also have a garden back here at home that's made up mostly of containers. And so I had to sort of pivot last year and do a container garden unexpectedly. And I had a whole bunch of plants I was growing that weren't really meant for containers. And it turned out well, I think. But then last year, about midway through the year, I bought seeds that were specifically meant to be looking good in containers that I could put together multiple plants in one container that would cascade over the edge and things like that. And so this year I'm doing two different groupings and I thought I'd do this video in particular about what flowers I'm winter sowing for my container garden because I know some of you do have the situation that I had until this year which is just having a very small area to garden in. So I thought maybe this could give you some ideas and you know even if you don't have a container garden maybe you'll have fun seeing what I'm growing anyway. Now one quick note as I've been saying I am winter sowing in different sets, right? I'm winter sowing this, this kind first and then another kind first. And that's just kind of my way of making sure I get through all of the different sets of plants that I want to grow. But it isn't really having anything to do with the right time to winter sow. The, the truth is you can winter sow spring vegetables, summer vegetables, um, you know, all of them at any point in your winter sowing season. So. Let's get to seeing what I'm going to be growing for my container garden. And at the same time, I'll do some winter sowing. <laughs> First up are these three. It includes two calendula varieties, both zeolites and Pacific Beauty. And calendula is great because it also has medicinal property in addition to being a really beautiful flower. Now these flowers do best in cooler weather. So they're some of my spring flowers for that part of my garden. I'm using a little different container compared to normal this time. This is a cat treat container that I got from the no buy group when I asked people for containers to grow my seedlings in. This kind of a container is a great option if you have a hard time using duct tape or really dislike duct tape because it has a screw top lid. I cut some holes in the screw top lid using scissors and drilling little holes in them. It is a little hard to cut the top, but as long as you have some way for rain to get in and air to get out of the container, you can use a container like this. Inside, I have enough space for about four inches of soil as well as about four inches headroom, which is about the minimum you need for seedlings to be able to grow. I am planting the pink china asters, which are a dwarf flower in this container. I believe I planted about seven to eight seeds in here. Last year was my first year growing these and I really fell in love with them. The beautiful layers and the color they added to the garden were just wonderful. I picked these three varieties when I decided I needed to buy more seeds for container gardening. They include container sized zinnias as well as shortened or container sunflower juniors. I picked these sweet pea flowers as sort of one of the flowers I was envisioning cascading over the edge of the container. And I since realized that they actually prefer to grow in cool weather. So now I plan to have them in the same container as my calendula and the calendula can be in the background with the beautiful yellows and peaches with these beautiful pastel sort of colored sweet peas cascading over the front. No garden for me would be complete without coxcomb and celosia on them. They include this king coral, which I have grown before two years in a row, and I really love the beauty it can provide and the sort of unique uh, personality it can add to a garden. And then this year I'm trying snapdragons for the first time. I'm going to try them both for my container garden as well as for my in-bed garden at the community garden plot. Anytime you try a mixed color pack, you don't know what color seeds you're actually planting. And so it can be a fun surprise figuring out what will end up coming from this seed pack. Uh, but one thing I am really hoping to see is I saw there are some orange ones in here and I really am curious what they're going to look like. And I'm hoping that one of these eight seeds that I planted here will be one of those colors. Other flowers that work great in container gardens include marigolds, alyssum, 
Mist Flower, which is uh, the native variety of the one you see in the middle, Sweet William, which is a biennial flower, as well as Salvia, and Dusty Miller. And these are all things I'm also planning on winter sowing. The marigolds I will also likely include in my main gardens, as well as in my vegetable beds, as they are a great companion plant for managing pests. All right, let's take these containers outside to join all their friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider doing so. And stick around because soon I'll be doing a video on the other flowers I'm growing that I plan on having in my new rental plot. And if you didn't see the video, I just recently did one on the rental plot. And boy, in just a few days, I've made more progress since that last video. So I hope to do an update on that soon too. All right, see you next time.